Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, blue shaded square uh, AEPT and this uh, green shaded circle with the center Q fully inscribed uh, in a big uh, blue square ABCD as you can see in this given diagram such that uh, this point uh, P is the center of this uh, big blue square ABCD and moreover uh, the area of this uh, blue square AEPT has been given to us as 2 cm square and furthermore, uh, this segment uh, AT equals to this segment uh, BT. And likewise, uh, this segment uh, AE equals to this segment uh, ED. And now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded uh, circle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and let's focus on this uh, blue shaded square AEPT. I'm going to label it side length uh, as lowercase a. Then all these uh, side lengths are going to be lowercase a as well across the board. And now let's recall the area of a square formula. Area is always equal to S square, where S represents the side length of the square. And in our case, uh, the side length of the square is lowercase a, whereas the area has been given to us as uh, 2. So therefore, we can write uh, A square equals to 2. And now I am going to undo this uh, square by taking a square root on both uh, sides. So therefore uh, our side length uh, lowercase a simply turns out to be the square root of 2 centimeter. So therefore uh, this side length uh, turns out to be square root of 2, square root of 2, square root of 2 and square root of 2 across the board. And in this uh, next step I am going to connect uh, these two points a and p. As you can see in this uh, next step. And now we can see this uh, AP is the diagonal of this uh, blue shaded square. And furthermore, uh, bear in mind that this angle has got to be 90 degrees since we are dealing with the square. And now we are going to focus on this uh, right triangle uh, AEP. And I'm going to label uh, this uh, diagonal AP as uh, X. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle to solve for uh, this uh, diagonal uh, x value. And here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. And here in our case uh, our hypotenuse is uh, x whereas our two other legs are square root of 2 and square root of 2 once again. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, square root of 2 whole uh, square plus likewise uh, square root of 2 whole square equals to x square and now we are going to undo this square by taking square root on both sides so therefore our x value turns out to be positive 2 centimeter so therefore our this hypotenuse x value simply turns out to be 2 centimeter and now I am going to connect uh, this point uh, C with this uh, center P. As you can see in this uh, next step. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, whole AC is the diagonal of this uh, big blue square ABCD. And we know that this point P is the center of this uh, big blue square. So therefore we conclude that this uh, diagonal AP length is going to be equal to this segment PC length. We know this AP length is 2 so therefore this PC length has got to be 2 centimeter as well. And now in this next step I am going to connect this center Q with these two points of tangency F and G. As you can see in this next step and now we can see this uh, QF is the radius of this uh, circle. I'm going to label this one lowercase r. And likewise, uh, this uh, radius uh, QG as lowercase r as well. 
and furthermore uh, this uh, pq is the radius of this circle as well so this is going to be lower case r and now let's recall the circle theorem according to this theorem uh, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will always be exactly 90 degrees so no wonder these angles are going to be 90 degrees each since uh, these are our radii and these are our tangent lines and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, fc segment length is going to be equal to this uh, radius uh, lowercase r so i'm going to put down this one as lowercase r and furthermore we know that this uh, whole uh, segment uh, pc length uh, is uh, 2 and this uh, segment uh, pq length is lowercase r so therefore uh, this uh, qc segment length uh, is going to be 2 minus lowercase r and now we are going to focus on this uh, tiny right triangle uh, qfc and we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle to solve for uh, radius r and here's our Pythagorean theorem once again a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case our hypotenuse is 2 minus r whereas our two other legs are lowercase r and lowercase r as well so therefore we can write uh, r square plus uh, r square is going to be equal to 2 minus r whole square and now let's recall this famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as uh, a square minus 2ab plus b square we are going to apply it on this uh, right hand side binomial so therefore we are going to have when we combine these like terms that is going to give us 2r square equals to 4 minus 4 times r plus r square and now we are going to move uh, all these uh, terms uh, to the left hand side if we simplify that is going to give us uh, r square plus 4 times r minus 4 equal to 0. So thus we are ended up with this uh, quadratic equation and we are going to solve it uh, by using the quadratic formula. And here's the well-known quadratic formula that we will be using. And here we can see our uh, coefficient uh, a value is 1, b value is uh, positive 4 and our constant uh, c value is negative 4 now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this quadratic formula so we got uh, lowercase r equal to minus 4 plus r minus uh, square root of uh, 4 square minus 4 times a is 1 c is uh, negative 4 all over 2 times uh, a value is 1 and if we simplify all these we are ended up with the uh, radius r equals to negative 4 plus or minus uh, the square root of 32 all over 2 and now we know that the square root of 32 is simply 4 times the square root of uh, 2 so therefore we could write uh, lowercase r equals to negative 4 divided by 2 i'm going to split this one plus r minus 4 times uh, the square root of 2 divided by 2 as well so therefore if we simplify r is going to be equal to negative 4 divided by 2 is going to give us uh, negative 2 plus r minus this reduces to simply 2 times uh, the square root of 2 and now we are going to split these two signs positive and negative signs so therefore our lowercase r value is going to be either negative 2 plus 2 times the square root of 2 or simply lowercase r value is going to be negative 2 minus 2 times the square root of 2 and now we can see this radius r value is a negative and that's not feasible so therefore we are going to reject this value of r and we are going to accept r equals to negative 2 plus 2 times square root of 2 so thus our radius lowercase r value turns out to be negative 2 plus 2 times square root of 2 and here we can see 2 is in common so therefore our lowercase r could be written as uh, we are going to bring 2 outside as factor and that is going to give us uh, square root of 2 
minus uh, 1. So this is our uh, radius uh, of this uh, circle value and the radius is going to be approximately equal to 0 0.828 centimeter as well. And here's our final step. Now we are going to calculate uh, the area of this circle. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area is always equal to pi r square, where lowercase r is the radius. In our case, our radius is uh, 2 times square root of 2 minus 1. So therefore, our circle area is going to be pi times uh, our radius uh, is uh, 2 times uh, square root of 2 minus 1 whole uh, square. And now we can see 2 square is going to give us uh, 4. So therefore we can write uh, 4 times uh, pi and then times uh, square root of 2 minus 1 whole square. And now let's focus on this uh, binomial part. If we take a square of this one that is going to give us uh, 2 minus 2 times uh, square root of 2 plus uh, 1 and that is going to be if we combine these like terms that's going to give us uh, 3 minus uh, 2 times uh, square root of 2. So therefore we are ended up with uh, 4 times uh, pi and then times uh, 3 minus uh, 2 times uh, square root of 2 centimeter square and this uh, circle area is going to be approximately equal to 2.156 centimeter square as well and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye